Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lights here, we're here. I uh, just want to start by saying congratulations if you did get in on Safe Haven. Um, as you can see it's taken off, looking at roughly about 90, 100%, something like that. Let's have a look. 80% roughly, alright, so if you did get in on that, well done, alright. If you want to know what I'm thinking about this, you'll have to go back and look at my previous video. Alright, but just be careful around this area now. Alright, uh, looking at Spark Point, we can see that Spark Point is a much better price uh, than it was um, yesterday. And uh, by a better price, I mean in regards to a discount price. Alright, so it does look like a better time to be buying uh, Spark Point at the moment. As you can see, the RSI has come way down almost into oversold territory. You can see the MACD has come way down and it could get a, a bullish cross to the upside all right it hasn't happened yet but if you wanted to front run that that's what we could see happening over here over the next uh 12 hours all right if you look on the one day it does look like there was a bearish macd cross and that may not have completed yet momentum shift to the downside all right and the rsi is kind of in the middle middle range all right but at the end of the day uh for the, for the price that i got out at and the profits that i made i mean me buying in now i'm basically getting i, I did keep some on the table obviously for a long term hold but if i put even just a fraction of that money in now um you know i'm getting like all of my spark point back even plus more uh for you know much cheaper you know a lot less and that's a better long-term hold for me all right as you can see it's come all the way down to support and it's a very thin support level i will be honest with you okay but if you can see that is the previous high all right over here the previous high um it's very small all right but you can see over here that was the last bump all right and now it's come back down to retest that level all right now it could fall through I'm not, I'm not saying that you should buy in now, um, all I'm saying is that for me it is a better time to be buying in and, and you know getting a bit of a bag of spark point back to add on top of my bag what I've got already. It does seem like a very smart move for me to do. Um, it makes sense, all right? especially because I believe in the long term potential. Uh, we could get a short term bounce, who knows, uh, but what I'd rather see is a uh, long accumulation and a, you know another uh, lift off to the upside but obviously um, me making this decision as well is not just based on the chart all right so I've spoken about the monthly roadmaps that Sparkpoint are putting out and then um, so I do expect a lot of things to come for you to be putting out monthly roadmaps means you need to be having things happening on a monthly basis so to make that commitment does suggest that they've got a few things up their sleeve perhaps all right so um, yeah, that's something definitely to keep the buyers coming in, keep people excited about that. Most most uh, companies are doing just yearly roadmaps. That's what point does do that as well. But along with the monthly roadmaps that they've committed to, I think that's a great uh, a great idea. To be honest, I don't think anyone else is doing it. All right, I spoke about player yesterday. Uh, you can see that uh, it did get a breakout. Did get a, a, a short breakout, a small breakout. All right not very much volume all right so what i would like to see with play is for it to at the moment come back down and retest this level and that's only because it is coming down anyway it would be nice to just see it just just pop out and just carry on to the upside but at the moment it is heading down we've got the moving averages that could potentially hold it as support and we've got this um, support line down here or previous resistance um so normally what you can see is a lot of buyers down here and then that will get bought up and you get so you get a breakout and you get a retest and then you get a, a, a you know shoot to the upside will it happen who knows um because obviously it's such low li liquidity coin it could just come all the way down um like i say there's not a lot of volume i'm not really happy with players performance to be honest it's not 
it's not uh, one of my top coins. Um, initially, um, I was attracted to it, but I think um, I'm more attracted. I was more attracted to the fact that they they got that partnership with sharing, and sharing to me are something worth looking into. All right, so sharing, uh, you can see that uh, it's, uh, it's it's had a bit of a correction. All right, from here, but as you can see, we are potentially getting a breakout of that. Now, if you take the wicks out, all right. You could even move that down there and say the breakout was there or you can move it there and say the breakout is here or you can move it up and you count the weeks in and say that the breakout has not come yet i won't, I won't really do it like that i'll take it from the top of the uh, the previous top and i'll bring it down there and i'll say right there's our breakout all right uh, we need to see some volume come in and a push to the upside it could roll over a little bit before it does that but um as you can see You've got all this momentum to the downside, all right, because it is obviously, um, you know, very liquid. But then you get all these buyers buying it back up, all right, and it's been holding this level. It's had a little rollover, but hasn't took out these bottoms before it took a bounce out of the resistance. Hopefully, we can see that uh, continue to the upside, all right. And yeah, that's definitely uh, one that I'm looking at as well, uh, right now that I might. Uh, I've sent a little bag of Bitcoin over to Bitmark and I might put half in it and then fling the other half into, into uh, back into Sparkpoint, alright, uh, so I can uh, reload my bag. I've done extremely well actually this past week and uh, you know there, there are you know there are losses, there's very small losses that I've taken, I think I've, I've, yeah, I've taken a very small loss alright uh, this weekend as well. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's just part of the game. The, the gains that I've made outweighed losses by 90%, all right? Not even, well, 95%, let's see, all right? Probably a lot more than that, okay? So, um, yeah, guys, it's a Monday morning, and this is my what I'm looking at for the beginning of this week. What are we going to see? We're going to see uh, fireworks this week. Uh, especially with uh, Sparkpoint with the system coin um, listing. All right, so obviously you saw it went on system coin. Sparkpoint went on system coin and it dumped off. And a lot of times you see that in in the market. All right, you see that when you see a new coin listing, you see it take a bit of a dive. All right. In fact, let's just go right to system coin. Just so I can show you guys. All right. This is another thing that which I've taken into consideration. Uh, we're buying more Sparkpoint right now. Okay, so let's just find Sparkpoint on here. SRK BTC. Okay, it's up 44% on here over the last 24 hours. Alright, but as you can see, took a huge dump, right? Sparkpoint on here. Been bought all the way back up there, and I haven't seen this until now. That I'm only looking at it because of you guys, right? And this is the one day chart, all right. But a lot of the time, after this, um, you know, initial listing dump, you know, you could probably see a lot of volume coming in. People begin to start buying, you know, they don't have to start buying straight away as soon as it gets on, you know. This is uh, sellers dumping their bags on new potential buyers, all right. So then you see accumulation, accumulation, or you could just see it begin to recover up, 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 up. All right, so uh, yeah, that's something to definitely keep an eye on how it's performing on here as well. Okay, but obviously most of the volume is over on Bitmart, all right, so yeah. That's it for now, guys. I think that's the end of the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Leave a like, leave a comment. There's some links in the description. If you don't, if you're not signed up to Bitmart and you want to be, you can use my link in the description. Um, there's also a few other links in there you might want to take a look at Binance, uh, Qcoin, and so and so on. All right. Um, so yeah, guys. Um, yeah, I think I'll see you again in the next one.